I just want to be a Disney princess. Oh, hello there. Hey everyone, it's Michelle and today I'm so excited because I'm going to be testing out some new ColourPop, the Disney Midnight Masquerade palette just launched along with a ton of other stuff. I did get two of the princess bundles along with the palette, of course, backwards, along with the palette. So we're going to put this stuff to the test and see how it is. I'm so excited. As a lot of you know, I love ColourPop. I love Disney. I, this is just, this is me. This is a match made in heaven. I need all the Disney things. Let's start with the palette. It is the Midnight Masquerade palette and it is supposed to be based on if all the Disney princesses were to go to a masquerade. Well, not all of the Disney princesses. They left out my girl Snow White and Ariel, but they did add some other ones that aren't usually included, like Meg from Hercules, Esmeralda from The Hunchback of Notre Dame, and then a bunch of their normal ones. Oh, and they've got Giselle in there from Enchanted. There's that one too. This is so pretty. I love the artwork of all of the princesses. And then these colors are so fun. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this. I'm not gonna swatch it. I think I'm just gonna go ahead, put it on my eyes, and then we'll move on to the princess bundles for the face. Let's go. Look at that. I can still rep Snow White and Spirit because this palette does not have a mirror since it does have that beautiful Disney princess artwork. I think I'm gonna start with the shade Pip right here, just this neutral tone to get us started. This palette is one of ColourPop's more expensive at $22. It's 14 shades, which I mean, 22 bucks for 14 shades isn't bad by any means. And I think they have to, you know, bump it up a couple of dollars because it is with Disney. And uh, Disney's not cheap. Who is everyone's favorite Disney princess? I think most of the girls from my generation our favorite is Ariel from The Little Mermaid, just because I think that movie came out like prime time for us. Then again, I think it came out in like 86 or something like that and I was born in 90, but still. I've always loved Ariel. I have a big tattoo of her on my thigh. If you haven't seen it, I'll put a picture somewhere. Then again, all of my tattoos are Disney because I'm five years old. I love Ariel. I do have a very sweet spot in my heart for Snow White though. I've always been told I look like Snow White. My big name is White, so Michelle White, Snow White, just kind of, you know. And I've always been very fair and I've had dark hair, so I've always related to Snow White in that sense, but she was never my favorite Disney princess. I also have a tattoo of Snow White um, on my rib cage. I can also put that on the screen somewhere too. Uh, yeah, I love, I love Snow White. I love Ariel. I really do like that they included some princesses in this launch though that they haven't done before. Like having Meg in there is super cool. I think Meg is badass. And who didn't love Hercules growing up? Like, hello. I'm gonna go in with some Damsel next. It's pretty pink color. Oh, that's gorgeous. Wow, pretty. Oh, sorry, anyway. <laughs> who else is included in this? Esmeralda. Oh my god, I was obsessed with Esmeralda as a child. When I was six, my dad completely redid my room in Esmeralda for me. I had an Esmeralda comforter, uh, when you put like a little Esmeralda Barbie doll on my bed for me to like surprise me. Everything was done up in Esmeralda from The Hunchback of Notre Dame. I really think I watched like the absolute shit out of that movie. Then of course you've got Aurora, classic Sleeping Beauty. You've got Tiana, which is awesome. I know a few little girls right now, Tiana's actually their favorite princess because Princess and the Frog came out like at that pivotal time in their lives, you know? So that was like maybe their first Disney princess movie that they actually got to see. Rapunzel from Tangled, she's included. Cinderella, because you can't leave Cinderella out. I mean, she's a classic. Kind of like Sleeping Beauty, lump them in together. I'm surprised they haven't done like Anna or Elsa as popular as Frozen is, or was, I mean, I still think, fuck, let it go. Like, that's still so popular. Shoot, at the gym, childcare, they put Frozen on all the time still. So, I mean, I know kids still really like it. And now they're coming out with the second one. Maybe that's what they're waiting for. <laughs> Maybe they're gonna do some frozen theme makeup release when the second movie comes out, I don't know. Let's try Gaston. 
Whoa, that's pigmented. Holy shit. I was not expecting that. Mistake. These are blending like nobody's business, of course. I've gotta be forgetting someone. I thought there were eight princesses in this one. I've only named some. Oh, Belle. Duh. I bought like one of her bundles, I'm pretty sure. There's also Belle from Beauty and the Beast, which Beauty is another one of my tattoos. It's on my lip. <laughs> and my husband says Beast because we're so basic. Let's go in with Quasimodo. Poor Quasimodo. Did he ever get the girl? Did he get a girl? I know he didn't end up with Esmeralda. For watching the movie so much as a child, you'd think I'd remember more, but I really don't. I haven't seen it since probably 1998, so it's been a minute. And my kids are not into the Disney princesses, at least not yet. Like, Sullivan will watch Frozen at the gym, but he's never wanted to watch it at home. If he'd like to get into The Little Mermaid so we can watch that over and over and over again, he could do that anytime. That would be great. I'm so sick of watching Bolt. The super dog. Okay, I'll stop. Right now I'm debating on using one of the glitters in the palette. I think there's two glitters and obviously they're not eye safe, but whatever. I'm still going to use them. I mean, even if I don't do it today, I'm going to eventually use them. I think I'm going to use one today. There really aren't many shimmers in this palette, which is actually kind of nice. I prefer mattes. I'd rather have more mattes than not. You know what? I'm going to take Enchanted. I'm sorry. Just with my fingertip, I'm going to pop that on the lid and then I'm going to go over it with glitter. That way I've got coverage on the lid because I know the glitter isn't going to cover it totally, which is fine. Oh, now I want to leave it like that. I've really been liking all matte eye looks now that we've been getting into fall, which is so not like me at all. Let's take it. Let's take some floating lantern, this pink glitter. Just got to mess with it. Man, I bet if I had some glitter glue on right now, this would be the bomb. All things considered, it's actually going on pretty nicely. I'm just gonna take some new dream for fun because I wanna try to mess this look up, obviously, now that we're at the end. Just wanna like tap it along the edge of this pinky glitter, just to kind of blend that with the deep Quasimodo shade a little bit better. Obviously there was glitter fallout because I used glitter and I did not use a glitter glue. I did know I'd be taking that chance. I just didn't care. That glitter is fun, right? And now I'm going to mess with the lower lash line. Let's do some Meriwether. What does it feel that dry? I mostly wanted to see it just to see if it felt dry. I find that like the deepest shades and ColourPop palettes are a little on the dry side sometimes and a little hard to blend, which I'm just using this on my lower lash line, so it's not like it's going to be a true blending test anyway, but you know. All right, I'm going to take some New Dream. Okay, I got two Disney princess bundles, I guess. So the first is from Beauty and the Beast. It's the Belle bundle. So here's the design of her mask that she would wear to the masquerade. I love the rose elements, very cute. The artwork on these is beautiful. Like I don't want to throw it away. Look at that. My gosh, okay. So each of the princess bundles, they either come with a blush or a highlighter and then they come with a lip. So this blush is called, what is it? <laughs> Enchanted Mirror. Very pretty like muted rose color. The princess bundles I think were $18 or it was I think 10 for the powder product and then eight for the lip if you were going to buy them separately. That's pretty. I think it goes okay with the look. I totally wasn't thinking about the face products matching my eyes when I did that. Whoops. Yeah, that's really, really pretty. Then let's open this up. This is A Dream is a Wish Your Heart Makes. It is the Cinderella bundle and there you have her mask and then her beautiful artwork. So pretty. And this is the highlighter horse and carriage. Oops, and I just scratched it a little. It looked like it would be the best for my skin tone, which is why I got this one. Because your girl is super pasty. So, fair sip of all. And that's really pretty. It almost has like a pinky shift. I've never actually used a ColourPop 
um, pressed highlighter, I always use their Super Shock highlighters. What happened here? What was that dried sweat? Fun fact, I came home straight from the gym, didn't change my base up, just decided to come sweaty and film this. Look, I only have so much time while my kids are napping, <laughs> or my kid is napping. This is super pretty. Gorgeous. I'm gonna take this Mama Odie and put it in my inner corner. It looks like a duochrome. Mm, I'm not feeling that. Let me try Spitting Wheel. That's better. That's more of a pinky shift. The Mama Odie had a green shift. Now I gotta figure out which lip is going to work better. So this is Beast and this is Prince Charming. Let's swatch them both on the back of my hand. So we've got Beast. That was a terrible swatch. Sorry, guys. Okay, Beast. Prince Charming. Probably leaning more towards Beast because this eye look isn't super pink. Well, yeah, let's do Beast. I think that'll look better. Oh, they smell good. This is their new formula. It's, what is it called? Their Lux Liquid Lip. I can't describe that scent, but it smells nice. So, it's a really comfortable formula. I haven't actually tried their Ultra, Bo Ultra Blotted Lip yet, but that's what this looks like to me, like a stain or a blot. That's pretty. I think I'm actually gonna go over the top with just a little bit of Prince Charming. I'm just focusing it more in the middle. Pretty. I'm gonna spray my face real quick. If you haven't tried this yet, it's new, it's the Pretty Fresh. This is the Hyaluronic Acid Setting Spray. Mm, mm, mm. It smells like Coconut Dreams. It's so good. I just recently reviewed this with the Pretty Fresh um, Tinted Moisturizer, if you haven't seen that video. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna go put on some mascara and let my hair down and I'll be right back. Alright you guys, I am back and here is the finished look. What do we think? Am I a Disney princess yet? Please say I'm a Disney princess. I feel gorgeous. I feel like I'm going to a masquerade. I feel like I'm serving glass slipper realness. I feel real enchanted. I'm good. Let's do some thoughts. I mean, first up, packaging. Home run, they knocked it out of the park. Like, everything is gorgeous. I, I really like the shape of this palette too. It feels very fancy. The colors, beautiful. I, I obviously didn't get to play with every shade. 10 out of 14 is not bad. Not like I use these two to a huge extent, but you know, um, I mean, at least I got to use a lot of the shades. I. They, they did killer. Like, this is a beautiful palette. I prefer it to the It's a Princess Thing palette, their first Disney collab. Very neutral palette. Some would say boring, but I'll just call it neutral. And then the Villains palette, like, again, awesome packaging, but if there were so many shimmers and, like, what, three mattes or something? Ugh. So this is perfect. A lot of people I know have issues with the press glitter, but whatever. Um, I, I like it. I think they did fantastic. I only got two of the princess bundles because I'm not made of money, but I'm really happy with the two I got. I think this highlighter is stunning and this blush is really a nice natural rose color. It's perfect. And then the two lippies are pretty too, so I'm really happy to have them. All in all, this is a killer collection. Like seriously, if I had more money to just drop, I would get all of them just because of the collector in me, honestly. Like these are so pretty. So are you planning on picking up anything from this release? I don't know if it's limited edition. Probably. It's Disney. Who knows? I really don't know. ColourPop releases so much, I can't keep up. I'm only one person. Anyway, that is all I've got for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching this video. I love you so, so much, and I'll see you later. Bye!